Welcome to another edition of English Makes No Sense. Today we're going to do a grammar lesson. A grammar lesson? Yeah, we're going to do punctuation uh, marks by request. The request was for, what is the difference between a colon and a semicolon? Well, that's a great question. A colon has two dots. We know that, or we don't know that. That's fine too. This is a colon. This punctuation mark is a semicolon. It's almost a colon. Or you could pronounce it semicolon, semi, semi, doesn't matter. It's still a semi or semi colon. Got it. But what are they used for? Great question. A colon is used to introduce a list. What? Yeah, let me show you. I need three ingredients, colon, eggs, vanilla, and milk. Okay, great. Now, it can also be used to separate two clauses. The results are in, there's one clause, colon, we lost the race. The other independent clause, we bring them together with a colon. The results are in, we lost the race. Oh no, we lost the race. Got it? We wouldn't leave this clause as it's not an independent clause. The results are in. Eh, no, we got to join it together with we lost the race. So we have two clauses, join them together with the colon. Perfect. Now, let's look at the semicolon or the semicolon. The semicolon is used to separate two independent clauses. What's an independent clause? An independent clause can stand alone. It's independent. Okay, here's my example. It's a double whiteboard day. I have a lot of work to do, semicolon, I need to finish my report, grade papers, and send emails. <gasps> this could be an independent clause. I have a lot of work to do, period. I need to finish my report, grade papers, and send emails, period. Two independent clauses, but I can join them all together with a semicolon. See? Check it out. There it is. Okay? Or used when listing items that already contain commas. It's a two for one. I have done that by using, I have them right here, it has commas, okay? Or you could just make your own sentence where you have to make a list and you put the semicolons. And the items might already have commas, but you're gonna put a semicolon to avoid confusion. Whew, that's a lot. Let's review. Colon used to introduce a list or to separate two clauses. Semicolon used to separate two independent clauses or used when listing items that already contain commas. Let's do, why does English have so many confusing grammar, grammar or punctuation marks that are seem like they could be used the same but are slightly different? I don't know, but now you can read and understand this set of sentences and rules, I hope. A colon and a semicolon can be used for lists. Both separate clauses, but a semicolon separates independent clauses. What? Come on, English. Do you have any grammar questions that you would like answered? You do? Leave them in the comments. Peace, friends.